Hi everyone, welcome back to day two um, of writing a fractured fairy tale. So let's go over real quick what we did yesterday. Yesterday we um, had all kinds of lessons. First we talked about what a fairy tale is and what a fractured fairy tale is. And then we talked, um, we read a fractured fairy tale about Cinderella together. And then finally we talked about the outline um, that starts with a background, the scene, the problem, and the resolution. So for today you should have written two or three outlines. Um, so not quite writing yet, just some ideas about what you could be starting, writing, um, starting to write today. So today we're really going to pick some changes that you are going to make and talk about how to make those flow. So let's look up here real quick. We have how to write a fairy tale adaptation. You need to know the story and tell it often. You need to decide on a change to improve the story. And then today we're going to be talking about making the change lead to other changes. So we can't just pick one change and then have that be our whole story and have the rest of it be exactly what the original author wrote. So if I'm bringing it back to Cinderella, the fractured fairy tale that we read together, in that story, they made it that Cinderella actually just was really good at cleaning, and that's why she did it all, and then that she lost her voice. And then that there was all of this funny stuff about fairy godmothers, and that she was just kind of cuckoo or something. So they made all kinds of changes to that one, because each change went into the next change. As soon as you make a change, um, the rest of the story has to change as well. So I love this little image that they use of all the dominoes falling over. And if you could see right on the little sides of the domino, it shows the change, which knocks over the characters, which knocks over the setting, which knocks over the trouble, which knocks over the resolution. So that outline that we talked about, every part of the outline is affected by the change that we introduce. So it doesn't matter if you chose that Cinderella's gonna be a boy or that Goldilocks and the Three Bears is actually gonna be Goldilocks and the Three Turtles. It doesn't matter because every change is going to um, have a domino effect. So let's go with Goldilocks and the Three Turtles because I think that's kind of funny. That change is that is affecting the characters. Obviously these turtles are going to have different issues than the um, than a bear. Maybe they have a different home. Maybe um, this all takes place in a pond instead. So the change to the characters made a change in the setting. Maybe the trouble is that there has been, instead of Goldilocks, maybe Goldilocks is a goldfish. That actually be kind of a neat story. So the goldfish um, has been in their home, and that changes the trouble. And then finally at the end, they find the goldfish. There's really not much of a resolution to Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the original story, except that she leaves and everything is fine. So, well, and also that she finds just right things on within the house. So I want you to decide on a change today. So you probably had around two or three different ideas from yesterday. I want you to pick one and I want you to start writing. You need to make sure that they all flow together like this. So today you're gonna to be making your first draft and I'm so excited to see them and I know your teachers are too, so make sure to send them to us.